Back-to-back -back years, Pecorini has cost the Predators a chance of winning the Stanley Cup. Last year, it was against the Pittsburgh Penguins when he was complete garbage against them. And this year, it was against the Winnipeg Jets getting pulled in the first period of a Game 7, being the third in the series. You just don't get pulled so much if you're a Vezina Trophy candidate. Yo, what's good everyone? It is your boy Patty Kills here. Welcome back to another video. So today's video, I'm going to be explaining guys the future of the National Predators and is this the end for Pekka Rene? Pekka Rene is 36 years old, which means he isn't going to get any younger. He also has two years left on a $7 million contract. Rene this year had a pretty impressive 42 win season in 59 games, which is pretty impressive, but man, just look at their defense core. They got Subban, Ekholm, Ellis, Yossi. They got an insane defensive core. And just a few years ago, everyone was criticizing Corey Crawford of the Chicago Blackhawks for not being elite because of his defense. This season, Crawford had such a bad defense, he was having Vesna Trophy numbers before he went down with the season-ending injury. And Rene just couldn't even stop a beach ball in this series and you look at last year the Predators lost against the Penguins because of Rene's poor play and this year the Predators really lost this series because of the horrible goaltending by Pekka Rene man and I think it's just time to move on I mean Pekka Rene is 36 years old I think it's just time to give it to Yossi Saros the number one job or at least try to develop him next year with Rene mentoring him and kind of you know split the games with the two and Saros is 23 years old and he is the shortest goal in the NHL. He had 11 wins this season, which is really impressive for a 23 year old backup goalie. And in all of his career playoff games, he only gave up two goals. The Predators also stated that they're going to re sign him because he is their future. And in my opinion, I just think it's time to give the number one role to Saros, and here's why. He is a horrible below the goal line goaltender, man. And in game seven, two of the goals were below the goal line, and Rene just can't stop those. And you know, Pekka Rene is one of those goalies who will have some great games. You know, you're thinking he's like the Vesna trophy winner, and then you know, when you need him the most, he just is complete garbage. And in my opinion, the Nashville Predators, they gotta do something. Time is running out, and what I mean, time is running out. You got teams that are starting to rise, especially the Winnipeg Jets. The Winnipeg Jets are such a young team. You know, you still got Vancouver Canucks. You got a bunch of teams, Dallas. You got so many of these teams that are young, that are trying to go up. And for, for the National Predators, I think right now is your best chance to win because you really don't have any teams that are competing besides, you know, two teams. And to me, that's Winnipeg. I, I really think the only team that competed with Nashville this year is Winnipeg. And yeah, Winnipeg won because they were the better team. And you, for Nashville, you do have to make a move now there is a second option the Predators could do here and that is trade Pekka Rene for maybe some more pieces but I don't know how many pieces you need to win because this team coming into the Stanley Cup playoffs I'm pretty sure everyone on their brackets had them winning the Stanley Cup I know I did I'm like no way they're gonna you know lose this year I mean Pekka Rene is playing Vesna numbers you know they got such a good forward depth defensive depth they're winning the Stanley Cup this year and then I watched the Nat, uh, the Colorado Avalanche series, and my opinion completely changed on them. And when they beat the Predator, uh, pardon me, the uh, Avalanche, and they're gonna be versing the Jets. I changed my mind. I said Jets and seven in the beginning. I was, you know, right. Um, but I didn't really think it was gonna be this kind of a series. Some of these games were blowouts. I thought it was gonna be a close series. It wasn't. But I don't know. Like when I saw the Avalanche uh, series, right, it wasn't good. The, you know, Predators weren't really good. I thought they are going to win in five. They won in six. But they just weren't good. And, man, you got so much depth. You got Kyle Turris, who just didn't show up. I mean, there's another problem with her. Kyle Turris did not show up in this series. I mean, you traded for him. He didn't show up. Uh, I would say some other guys didn't show up. I mean, look at James Neal, man. Maybe you should have never gave up James Neal in the expansion draft. Because look what he's doing right now um, in Vegas. He's killing it, man. Um... But again, this team has problems, and I think they just, you can't, I don't think the problem is defense, I think their main problem is goaltending, and I really think maybe you trade Pekka Rene and you put Saros as the number one guy, and this could be risky, because I think, you know, the safer option would be for them 
to keep Pekka Rene and maybe have, you know, Rene play like, you know, let's say 40 games and have, you know, Soros play 40 games. Both goalies play half and half and just try to develop Soros because in my opinion, it's very important for him to develop now when you still have a chance to win the cup because look at Vas Vasilevsky. Man, he's like 24 years old they, uh, and they developed him right. Last year, the Lightning missed the playoffs because they decided to develop him and it paid off. Maybe that's what the Predators have to do. Maybe, you know, trade Rene and try to, you know, just have one year with uh, uh, a Saros and see how it does. If it doesn't do well, give him another year. And, you know, that's what happened to Andrew Vasilevsky and now he's so good. I think there's definitely things that need to be changed for this team. And to me, it's goaltending. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please drop a like. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Peace.